Hey y'all and welcome back. Today we're back on the Blackstone 22 inch XL griddle pellet grill combo and we're doing a reverse seared steak. Man, that's probably one of the best ways to do a steak, get that smoke flavor in and you just sear it and it's just, oh, it's so good, so good. And this unit makes it so much easier. Everything's all together, everything's all in one place. Just perfect for doing something like this. Now you can see it don't take a whole lot of stuff to make an amazing reverse seared steak. Now I'm only cooking one ribeye today, but we need to go ahead and get cooking. So let's go on over there and fire up that pellet grill and come back and prep this steak. We got the pellet hopper topped off with some apple wood pellets. So let's go on and fire up this pellet grill. And let's set this temperature at 250. There we go. Now, I went out and found me a decent ribeye. I got a good thickness to it. Don't have a lot of fat on it, as you can see. That's kind of what I'm wanting right here, just a good pretty steak. And all we gotta do now is put a little extra virgin olive oil on it. Don't need it real thick. Make sure you get both sides of it, the edges and everything. And now you come here to this high plain steak, which is really, really good on steak and season it up. And when seasoning it, you wanna make sure you get a good coating of this on here. Make sure you get the edges and everywhere. There we go. All right, she's seasoned up and ready for that pedigree. Once it's up temp, we're gonna throw it on there. All right, she's up to temp, so let's get this ribeye on here. Let's place it right in the middle. We'll take a probe and stick it right in the middle also. I just looked, I'm running about 115 on that steak, so now we gotta go ahead and fire up that Blackstone griddle. Now the reason I'm going ahead and firing that griddle up so it'll be hot and just searing when I pull that steak off the grill, I can put it straight on that grill and go ahead and sear it. That steak is up to temp where it needs to be. Griddle's good and hot. Let's take it off the grill and onto the griddle. Oh, she's looking good up in here. Let's pull this probe out. Get this steak off here and put it right on here. Gotta love that sound. And now that that steak's going, let's put some butter around it. Come on back here with that butter. Some garlic and some rosemary. Now that is really smelling good. Man, this is smelling amazing right now. Now what our plan is, let this go about three minutes on this side, then we're gonna flip it and let it go three minutes on the other side, then we're gonna take it up and try it out. All right, it's been about three minutes. Let's go ahead and give this thing a flip here. Man, that is pretty. Let that finish cooking on that side for about three minutes. We're gonna take it up. Time has come. Let's take it up. Get some of this rosemary and garlic up here with it. Oh, man, that is looking good right there. Let's take it over here and let it rest for a few minutes and cut into it. While it's sitting here resting, I just wanna give you a good look at this reverse seared ribeye we just made. What'd you think about that? I mean, that's a beautiful steak. Now, I made some glamour shots, kind of rearranged some things, made it look pretty for some pictures and some little videos, you know, glamour shot kind of thing. But now, now we got to try it out. So let's just come down here and cut this piece here. Yes, sir. I hope that shows up on camera. A little pink on the inside. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm wanting right there. Cut some more and see how it looks. Yes, perfect. Loving that color on that. Yeah, try it out. Wow. Wow, y'all. Immediately, you notice tenderness. I mean, mmm. And flavorful, so full of flavor, so tender, so juicy. I mean, look at the juice running off this board. You gotta try reverse sear. That is the way to go with the steak. I gotta have another piece, y'all. Don't care much for the fat, so I'm gonna cut the fat off that piece. Man. <laughs> this is good. 
I gotta go to the store and get some more of these ribeyes. This is, this is delicious. So, the key to reverse here is you get that smoke flavor in the steak and you kind of start heating it up. And then you take it off, you smack it on that screaming hot griddle and you sear all that flavor into that steak. And a lot of people, they, they sear, then smoke. Well, at that point, you're not really getting the smoke flavor in because you've already seared that outside. And that's the beauty of reverse sear is you get that smoke in there and then you sear the flavor in, as you can see. I mean, look at that. You can't beat a ribeye like this, I promise you. So try it reverse here on the Blackstone 22 XL Griddle Pellet Grill Combo, and I promise you, you will not be disappointed. But right now, I gotta take this in, kinda maybe hide it from the family so I can have it all, and we'll see you next time.